It's hard to imagine life without the BlackBerry or the mobile phone. In 2008, a billion handsets will be sold worldwide. But whilst it's easy for a customer to upgrade, upgrading the network as a whole to cope with this growth requires massive investment. Perched high above street level, many thousands of antenna provide the radio coverage that makes networks work. But these antenna are just the first link to a complex array of electronics called a base station. Most of the base stations that are out there today have a closet with racks of equipment in it. And from those racks of equipment, there's a coaxial cable that runs up the mass to a passive antenna, which is basically a metal box with radiators in it. That cable is a very lossy element, so roughly half the power that's generated down in the closet gets lost going up that cable. About uh, a third of the cost of operating that site is electricity. And if half the power is being lost in the cable, that's just wasted electricity. So by eliminating all that loss, we significantly reduce the operating expense that the operator has just running power to, to that closet. And this power loss means these large base stations have to be located in close proximity to the rooftop antennas. As demand for data services grows, networks need more capacity, which in turn means more and more antennas and base stations. Finding new rooftop locations to site this equipment is almost impossible in most cities and creates huge logistical challenges. But a leading technology company in Germany has ambitions to change all of that by radically rethinking the very architecture of mobile phone networks, Uberdyne is set to tackle both the problems of energy loss and siting of the base stations in one go by moving all of the active electronics up into the antenna. What we have is a typical base station antenna. And this passive antenna connects to a large, lossy coaxial cable and then transmits the signal down to the base station. And you lose about half the signal going from this passive antenna to the base station. What we're doing at Ubidine is taking the passive antenna and attaching it directly to the active electronics, eliminating all of those losses. And as you can see, our system is connected by a fiber optic cable, which can connect up to 20 kilometers away, which means the base stations can all be centrally located in a much lower cost, more secure area. Ubidine's product is a displacement for those existing technologies. It replaces a number of boxes, effectively, that exist in the network at the moment and brings improved efficiency within that network and also improved capability for the operators uh, in terms of what they can do to um, make their network operate more efficiently and serve customers better. Spun out of a research team at Siemens, Uberdyne was founded in September 2005 by Werner Corte, the original inventor of GSM, and Dr. Christoph Reinfelder, the company's chief technology officer. They founded Ubidine to basically change the whole radio architecture of mobile communications. So at Ubidine, uh, we formed a very unique combination of chip experts to invent the new chips necessary to move all the electronics from the base station up into the antenna. We have people that have designed complete base stations. And we have a combination of people who have been in multiple startups with successful exits and people that have come from some of the largest communications companies in the world. We have 16 nationalities just at our German location and another five nationalities at our office in Tempe, Arizona. So also a very multicultural team. So the opportunity going forward is to change the $10 billion radio market for base stations. And one of the reasons that operators need this, besides saving the money and giving them the ability to put these base stations wherever they want, all new wireless standards all need multiple independent wireless signal paths and there's no easy way to do that with the current technology. Ubidine's architecture is the only technology that gives the operators the ability to have multiple signal paths so you can get the data speed you need. These guys are running into real problems, particularly with the explosion of data driven by iPhone and iPhone-like devices. How are they going to handle all that data? You know, literally, there's an exponential curve now in terms of the data growth. Uh, the technology that we have allows them to handle that sort of growth. The technology that we have can increase uh, their capacity 30 to 50 percent in their networks. We've gotten excellent traction with the operators. This is the architecture they've been looking for and nobody's been able to deliver. So the operators are very excited about what we're doing and what the Ubidine system can do for them.